is rampant sexual abuse and open secret in orphanages in our country? That's the big question this evening as we bring you, as we bring you this report on how an 11-year-old who later died of diarrhea was repeatedly raped, possibly at a leading Delhi orphanage. The orphanage categorically denies the report prepared by the NGO Huck Center for Child Rights. The report also says that rampant sexual abuse continues at the institute, at the orphanage, where young boys are frequently targeted by their olders. On 24th of December, a child living in this orphanage died of diarrhea, but when her post-mortem report came out, it was established that she was in fact sexually abused. Now this orphanage says nothing of that sort can happen here. One of the thousand odd children living in Old Delhi's Arya Natalia, the 11-year-old was repeatedly abused. Police have arrested a 15-year-old inmate in this connection. Huck Foundation, an NGO working for child rights, has filed a report. The NGO claims it is based on accounts of children living in the orphanage. The report says girls are often abused by elder boys. But boys are also abused both by older boys as well as the orphanage staff. The report also says the guard of the girls' home molested girls and the warden of the boys' hostel sexually abused boys. But the orphanage management denies the allegations, saying if it wanted to hide, it wouldn't have taken the girl to the hospital or invited the NGO to counsel kids. This is the boys' hostel. Again, this is the boys' hostel. And the girls, if you see on my right, is the girls' hostel, which is separated by a wall. And nobody can go inside. So, so they are charged about this, that they have been molested by the... Uh, are being molested by the males or... Uh, Boys is baseless. There is no legs to stand on. It is only, uh, I think, is a is in a vindictive manner. So you don't want ch child welfare committees in committee inspections. So they may they may uh, authorize any child welfare committee to come and inspect okay. state government. They are opposing to get them registered under the juvenile justice um, law. And if they comes under the JJ, there would be regular. And uh, monitoring and supervision visit from the CWC. In fact, now CWC cannot uh, come and on, uh, do their regular investigation or stuff because they don't allow. The orphanage that's over 90 years old gets fund from the Delhi civic body, 500 rupees per child per month, plus has over 20,000 donors across Delhi. Inspections are as rare as thrice or twice a year. An NDTV report. Well, the big question we're asking this evening, rampant abuse in orphanages in our big cities. Is this going unnoticed? Now, joining us to discuss this, Inakshi Ganguly Tukral, co-director of Huck, the Centre for Child Rights. It is this NGO that she is a part of that came out with this report. We'll go through this report, uh, which they have prepared lots of shocking allegations. They're also joining us, Shanta Sinha, chairperson of the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights. I must also add that we tried our best to reach out to the Arya Anatale. Just 15 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago, they said that no, they did not want to appear as part of this program. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the questions that we intended to ask them would perhaps remain unanswered. But Inakshi Ganguly Tukra, let me come to you first, ma'am. The allegation made by the orphanage is that you're being deliberately vindictive towards them, that you have an agenda against this orphanage and that it's because of this that you've come out with this report which is baseless. How do you respond to this? Um, <clears throat> Vishnu, thank you for having us on the program. To begin with, we have not been in touch with Arya Anath Alai ever. The we were uh, brought in into this investigation by the Delhi police on the 25th of January. On their request, we started to move into the uh, orphanage along with four of their officials, one investigating officer, one SI, and two uh, of, um, police officers. Yes. So it was a team that consisted of our, of, uh, our team and of the Delhi police. We have no agenda to be vindictive. In fact, one of the things that we have noted in our report is that the orphanage is very clean, the children look well fed, and the, uh, and the institution does not look sort of, you know, decrepit and run down and all of that. But the fact remains that the children are afraid to talk. They were scared to open themselves up to the team, and they 
it, it took us a long time to get them to start talking. And when they did, many of them came up with the allegations that have been reported, put down in our report. What is also important is that the Child Welfare Committee of Mayur Vihar, which had been asked by the government of Delhi to also visit the home around the same time, have corroborated the same things that we have said in our report. So two separate teams have found the same thing. Okay. More importantly, we looked at the 2009 report when there was an incident of a similar nature yes. in, and we found that the, that the uh, Child Welfare Committee then have also said the same things. So really, frankly, we were not getting there to get vindictive. Okay. We right. want to protect the children. That's mm -hmm. our only agenda. Okay. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.